Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver, my Monobug Challenge. And the question is, how should I start this out? Well, we have Flareon, so let's go. It's gonna be somewhat difficult, I suppose, to defeat some of these Eevee girls with my team, but it's alright. I'll counter with supreme effectiveness. Boom. Spore. Then we bring in Megahorn. Or who else would want to fight these with fire fire type? But Heracross. Then we go for a horn attack. Teach Flareon some respect. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not that strong. We'll just go down the line. Yes, all you girls are effective Pokemon trainers. But why you specialize in Eevees, I don't get it. I almost wish there was a sixth one just to use a basic Eevee. Well, last, there's only five. Ah! Fast. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't have a quick sleep recovery. Not a fighting dreamer, eh? How do you like that? My horn attack. I know. This is definitely a cheap way to approach battle. But I don't mind that. I might actually use someone other than um, Megahorn for this battle. I'll probably bring out Needle if I still have him. Or her, I can't remember what gender most of my Pokemon are half the time, because it doesn't really matter. But, have Truffles drop some Sleep Powder. And while Umbreon's taking a nap, we'll bring in Needle. Why Needle? Well, Twin Needle. Bug-type moves have the advantage on Dark-types, so... It makes sense to bring Needle into combat here. Uh, Helene was almost not to bring it down. Um, I almost wish I had brought out False Swipe first to get some level ups, but I don't want a chance to sleep, you know. And again, this is probably the best battle to chance that on because I can get the. I only have to worry about there being one enemy Pokemon. I can usually counter that with my team with based on size alone right now. Spore. If only I could sleep in poison simultaneously, that'd be better. But ironically, the bug team might have the fastest time going through this area, because it doesn't have any super weaknesses I can't counter with Sleep Powder. Well, Spore. Um, I think I'll bring in Spike. Just cuz. Have a... Have an explosive attack of self-destruct, you know?
Probably if a Porygon actually gets killed, um, experience is only going to be split between two Pokemon. Yep, see? Yeah, I know I'm stronger than I look. Well, you're probably gonna be okay at Pokemon. I mean, you do have Jolteon, who admittedly is awesome. Arguably the best Eevee form around, actually. Because it gets Pin Missile and other attacks on Generation 1, so it was obviously the best, because it wasn't weak to fire and had the advantage over Vaporeon. Heck, even in Gen 2, it's probably still probably one of the better Eevee forms. It might be a toss-up between Espeon and Umbreon, though, too, considering they both get healing moves, and one's Psychic, which can be quite powerful, and one's Dark, which is a Psychic Killer, which you sort of need on a team anyway. Well, let's not false swipe first. Well, we can't attack. Well, I could, but false swipe's not gonna survive and counterattack, so. Now let's get Megahorn out there. Suppose I could have just fought with Truffles. Would have got false swipe more experience that way, but. It's alright. You missed? How could you miss? Your target's asleep! It can't even move! Must have like Rama one ha Rama senses, you know? Doing better, Scyther. Um, I'm decent. Hi, well, how are you? I found you saw I'm shopping, so I bought with your money. Sorry. Well, I don't know what she bought me, but okay. What about you, old man? Um, uh, they're not bad. If you can't beat these girls or at least hurt them, you must be a terrible Pokemon trainer. Okay. He has a Rhydon and he can't hurt them? That's just sad. To follow custom before appearing in public. If you love something, anything is possible. Yes. Reference to Japanese culture, why not? Do you have anything? Any swing Pokemon? Who knows? That's the end of this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.